Hi everybody, welcome back. Today I have a video for you all about rabbit muesli. So I'll be talking about the problems and dangers that giving your rabbit muesli can cause. We'll be having a closer look at the ingredients of rabbit muesli. If you are currently feeding a rabbit muesli, I'll be giving you some advice on how to change your rabbit onto a quality commercial rabbit nugget. And I also asked some people in the pet community to leave me their views, thoughts and opinions on pet stores still selling rabbit muesli. So I hope you enjoy the video and I hope you find it helpful. Now this is a bag of rabbit muesli that I bought from my local pet shop a couple of months ago, just for the sake of this video. It was really cheap so I hadn't spent much money on it, I think it was only about 80p per bag which is probably why a lot of people who feed muesli buy it because it is a lot cheaper than commercial rabbit nuggets but it causes so many problems which we will cover quite soon so yeah just in case you thought that this was Rosie's muesli it isn't, this is going straight in the bin after this video. So here are some problems that muesli can cause. First one is slower gut mobility which leads to stasis and stasis can end quite fatally especially if you're not able to get to a vet in time. Also less hay consumption which can lead to dental diseases and again it can lead to stasis as well. It can also lead to stones or sludge. It causes selective feeding which is when rabbits pick out their favourite parts of the muesli and leave other things out so they don't eat the whole portion that they've been given and that can lead to an imbalanced diet lacking vitamins and minerals and it can lead to weight gain and weight gain is another problem with muesli can lead to lots of different health problems especially as a rabbit gets older and yeah, like i said it causes a lot of dental problems as well muesli is just super unhealthy so what we're going to do is take a closer look at what muesli contains and why it's so unhealthy. So this is the bag of rabbit muesli that I picked up from my local pet shop. As you can see, it contains little pellets like this. It contains crushed peas, there's quite a lot of them as you can see. It also contains things like maize, but there's other different pellets there and that could be alfalfa. Alfalfa isn't great for rabbits either. It also contains different seeds. This one doesn't contain many seeds or I can't really find seeds in there but there is muesli out there that does contain seeds. There's also these other pellets. These are smaller pellets. There's also some papaya in there, which is quite unhealthy. It should only be fed as a treat and not a daily, you know, like, like not a daily thing. There can also be grains in there. I am not quite sure what this is. So these are often the main things that muesli consists of. Maize, peas, pellets, grains and seeds. You can also find fruit in there, like I mentioned, there's some papaya in there. I can't actually see any papaya, but I do know that there is papaya in there, which is quite unhealthy, shouldn't be fed every single day, maybe as a rare treat, but definitely not every day. Muesli is certainly not the only food out there. There are so many different brands of quality commercial rabbit nuggets. Here is the one that I feed to Rosie, this is Burgess XL, as you can see they are just quite small pellets. This is they just come in huge bags, you know, there's nothing like this, they're just pellets. As well as Burgess XL, you can find these. These are science selective pellets, they're a lot bigger than Burgess XL. This is a size comparison, <laughs> so they're a lot bigger than Burgess XL, but I suppose you could break them if you wanted to. So if your rabbit is currently on this, and you want to move them onto these. What should you do? Well, a transfer to a healthier diet should be done over several weeks to avoid stomach upsets. It's often best to get vet advice before you swap different foods around. Transferring a rabbit onto a healthier diet comes with patience, so you'll need to mix some pellets or nuggets in with your muesli, which is this, and gradually reduce the muesli and increase the pellets or nuggets until all of the muesli is gone. It's best to find good quality pellets 
even if they're expensive, you want your rabbit on the best diet possible to keep them happy and healthy. Also, hay is very, very important. You mustn't forget that. Hay makes up 80% every rabbit's diet. Also, clean water must be given 24 7 and don't forget the veg either but even as quality commercial rabbit nuggets these only make up 12 percent of your rabbit's diet the rest is 80 percent hay so pellets should only be fed in small amounts okay so before we end this video i asked some people in the pet community to leave their thoughts views and opinions on pet shops still continuing to sell rabbit muesli despite how many problems it causes i had a really really great response by the looks of it and i thought i'd share a few with you the bunny shed one said i hate the fact that pet shops are still selling muesli type food for rabbits it's terrible for any rabbit as it has lots of additives which aren't beneficial pet shops should know better they are meant to be setting standards but yet selling this food means hundreds of people are giving the rabbits an incorrect diet ashley from lou and ash shed zoo said many people feel that all rabbit foods are good for your rabbit and selling them in pet shops is leading new rabbit owners buying the bright and more tasty looking food and it's encouraging them to purchase it even though they are not aware of the harm that they could cause to their rabbit x hamster lover 2000 x said i think it's terrible as it just adds to the problem where rabbits aren't being cared for properly it can cause so many health issues dental issues obesity etc Pets at home said to small furry pets that they were going to stop selling muesli. Did it happen? No. Muesli is aimed for the person, not the rabbit with its bright colours. Too many products on the market don't consider an animal's needs and muesli is one of them. So thanks to everyone who shared their opinion. I'm really sorry if I didn't share yours. I just had um, a lot of feedback, so thank you for that. I will leave your links to everyone who shared their opinion in the description below. If you have any further questions about the problems that muesli causes or you need any more advice on how to transfer your rabbit from muesli to quality commercial rabbit nuggets, then just leave a comment below or you can ask me on any of my links in the description. Thanks for watching everyone and we'll see you again soon. Bye!